Hello and welcome to Stammer Run with me, John, a husband and a father who at 37 discovered that he could run and a self-confessed fitness fanatic for over 30 years. So in a slight change to what I would normally do, so today we're going to be looking at a camera that I use a lot of the time and the majority of things I do today are going to be filmed on the Insta360 GO 3 and if not the Insta360 X3 but this is primarily a review of the Insta360 GO 3 in view that the Insta360 GO 3S has just been released and how even though this is an Insta360 GO this is still applicable to an Insta360 GO 3 S, so stick around. So I will put the stats on screen for the Insta360 GO 3 and I will just take you over some of the features of the camera. So the Insta360 GO 3, is it as good as the phone on uh, your camera? Uh, no. Is it as good as your, uh, your mirrorless? No. So why would you even be fussed for an Insta360 GO 3. The first thing to say about the picture, the picture is for a camera this size, I think is really, really good. It's 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Now, in normal light, so the conditions in here are, this is just a, a standard room, um, window to the right of me, and in natural light and as much light as possible, um, this camera, the picture on this camera for such a small, piece of kit I think is really really good it's such an easy pick up and use pick up and shoot it's a really good camera to use the pod itself acts as um, housing so you get the battery life on the camera with a combination of the pod and the camera itself it's about an hour and a half you get about 45 minutes with just the camera by itself. So the action pod comes with a flip screen. Flip screen on this camera is fantastic. I absolutely love the pod. I just love how easy it is to use. Everything is on there that you need. You have options of a free flow camera view, which is 1080p at 30 frames per second. Then you have your video, which is at 2.7K, 30 frames per second, slow mode. And again, I'll put all the modes up. So the quality of the camera is pretty good in normal light. Now where it does fall down, unfortunately, is in uh, low light. Now this is typical of the majority um, of cameras, of action cameras in particular. So unless it's in really good light, the quality of the picture is not great. So with that said, even though the form factor is really, really quite good, in normal light the picture is fantastic what separates this from other action cameras it's just so fun to use so the insta360 go 3 and like any of the other cameras out there the insta360 go 3 is an absolute fantastic camera to use now for somebody like me the content that i tr tend to do is i'm out there on the street um i run and that kind of stuff just being able to pick out the pod and put it on the chest mount so it comes with a chest mount comes with this kind of like head clip and it comes with a, a mount which the camera is on now and these are so easy to pick up and use the camera back is magnetic so it means that it sticks to a lot of places i've got some really cool images out of the camera so in terms of accessibility in terms of different shots this camera cannot be beat so as an action camera this is definitely up there this is the best this is the best action camera that you can buy the insta360 go 3 can also be used as a webcam i don't recommend that because it is the picture quality is not the best that comes out of that but again you know still something that you can use if you're in a bind just simply hook it up to the laptop computer and you have a webcam. In terms of using this as um, a shooter, in terms of being able to pick it up, point and go, it's, again, it's, it's pretty good. You know, the stability um, on the camera is really, really good. There's a stability flow state um, mode, 
it's records up to 1080p, which is really quite good. It's got that horizon lock on there as well, so you can just pick up, point, and shoot. So the Insta360 GO 3 have upgraded in the last couple of weeks, so they now have a GO 3S, which is basically the camera itself, which is now 4K as opposed to 2.7K, and double the amount of pixels in the camera. So if you like the quality of this picture, then the new Go 3S has double the amount of pixels and can shoot up to 4K. So depending on how well this video does, I will get a Go 3S and do a comparison. So in terms of the Go 3S, the camera, I already have the action pod, so I don't need to buy a whole new kit. You can actually just buy the Go 3S camera pod and it will fit inside the action pod. So that's a plus point. So if you just want to upgrade your Insta360 Go 3, you can just buy the Insta360 Go 3S camera and it fits inside the pod. So ultimately, who is the Insta360 Go 3 for? The camera is really for somebody who really wants to have those different shots from a camera. You know, you can get the pod into all kinds of, of, of places. As an action camera, it truly is an action, you know, it, it is focused on action, I think is really easy to use, really easy to pick up. The form factor of the camera, I think is fantastic. The fact you can even use it in a pod, take it out of the pod and just have um, the camera and then you, what you can then do is that you can actually use the action pod the screen on the action pod to to see uh, the footage before it gets filmed so the form factor is fantastic the image is is standard 2.7k in normal light it is pretty pretty good but it's just that fun factor and that the shots that you can get out of the go 3 i think is second to none and is an absolute brilliant camera and on that note please don't forget to turn on your notifications to know when we post a video please don't forget to like favorite and subscribe it really helps out the channel if you want to see me test the insta360 go 3s then let me know in the comments and thank you and i'll see you on the next one take care